In this video, I'm gonna show you my favorite passing concept in Madden 21 for just simple, quick reads and easy dots. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what the channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And like I said, if you haven't quick clicked the subscribe button yet, it's completely free to subscribe. You can hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And also really quickly, I did wanna let you know that if you have not already turned on your notifications, I'd encourage you to turn on your notifications. Some of you have been following for the channel for a while, but maybe you're missing videos or missing uploads because YouTube doesn't notify you every time I release a new video that's why you want to turn on your notifications so that way you never miss one of these videos also if you have any Madden questions about today's video be sure to text me my cell number is 208-218-6900 and if you want to get my free offensive and defensive schemes that I release every single week just text the word Madden to that number and it will send you my playlist all right guys, so I wanted to break down a phenomenal passing concept out of the gun bunch in Madden 21. It's actually something that you wanna run uh, to the short side, which you don't see a lot of those, uh, you don't see a lot of short side bunch passing concepts right now, but this is one that is actually really good to the short side. So it's this play here, uh, and it's called, uh, if I could find it, it's called Smash Return, uh, Smash Return right here. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna run this to the short side. So if your bunch is, depending on where your, your ball placement is, you're just gonna run this to the short side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go against kind of the standard Mabel coverage first out of a cover three setting, something just like this right here. Oftentimes they're gonna have to deep half because they don't want to get bombed on that cover three side but all we're going to do is we're going to take the r1 receiver and we're going to put him on a uh, flat route we're going to take the square receiver we're going to put him on a fade and then we're going to basically on the left right side we can do whatever we really want to uh, what i like to do is i typically will take the triangle receiver the running back and i'll put him oftentimes on either an in route or a curl route or just simply block him but what you're going to see here on this left side is this tight end route is really really special it's going to get underneath the zone drops a lot of people are running their zones at 25 yards uh, for their curl flats and five yards for their flats it's going to get underneath a 25 yard uh, curl flat and basically over the top of course of a flat so you're going to be able to have a really nice consistent option that you can go to against zone drops which is really really nice you're just going to low ball pass it outside to that tight end and he's going to get wide open now what about man coverage uh, you might be concerned that man coverage is going to be a little bit of a challenge and i will tell you that man coverage is definitely a little bit harder to beat if you run it the way that we're running it. if you know it's running man-to-man -man coverage i like to motion out the square receiver on this little uh, return route and you're going to see he's going to absolutely roast man-to-man -man coverage to the inside as you can see right there you have a nice easy dot against man-to-man -man coverage but let's say that you don't know it's man to man coverage and you're, you're assuming, oh, they're definitely in Mabel coverage. So you're gonna run this, this combination over here. That's why I like to always leave myself um, a nice little man beater on the backside with the running back option route. So if I do see man coverage, I have that option route and that option route is one of the most consistent reads in the game against man to man coverage. Now, let's say, well, okay, they're they're making an adjustment okay so an adjustment that they might be able to make to you is they might take their guy that's guarding the running back and they might put him on a yellow zone well in situations where they like to do that to stop the option route you're going to see here this little running back in route uh pretty much always beats man-to-man -man coverage uh for me at least it, it almost always beats man-to-man -man coverage especially if they don't have one step ahead on that corner which very rarely will they have uh one step ahead on somebody that's guarding the running back and so that's where like you can easily work through your running back on this play. But as you can see here, um, it's just a really, really good underneath read, and it gets you about 15 to 10 yard or 10 to 15 yards. And then, of course, the route to the tight end. Now, if you're in mutt, um, this route's a little bit better than it is in regs, um, in my opinion. But if you're in regs, uh, you're not always going to beat man to man with this, but a lot of times you will. As you see right here to the outside, as you see, that Savage kind of teleported to the ball, uh, got there a little bit quicker than he probably should have. So, you know, that's just something that you have to understand. Uh, a lot of people will be shading their coverage inside and underneath and also uh, what you're going to get a lot of is you're going to get manned up on that left side by that guy that's over the top of the tight end not necessarily the guy that's to the, to the inside of the tight end so you're going to see here you might have a little bit better get kind of underneath but as you can see he kind of swats it so in in regs 
that route does not always beat man to man. If you have Travis Kelsey, that route will pretty much always beat man to man. But if you're with the Packers um, and you're Robert Tunyon, you're not always going to get separation against man to man. Sometimes you will. Sometimes you will. Like right there, we got separation and we hit it to the outside. But it's not, it's not a super, super consistent thing. You do need to read that against man to man coverage. Now, as far as uh, on the other side, though, this route to Tavon Austin, let me audible over to man coverage here for you. Uh, this route to table out you see how it's kind of a multiple cuts so that's a good route for one step ahead you see he's going to come underneath low ball inside and as you can see that's a consistent little dot for you against man-to-man -man coverage so uh, smash return is a phenomenal passing play uh, against a lot of different things that people are going to want to do whether it's cover three mabel whether it's man coverage you know whether it's just kind of a standard zone coverage even um, you're going to have a lot of success with this play as you see that route just gets right in front of the zone drops and just does a really really nice job you know I, i've always said that you know part of gun bunch is picking the right corner route for the right situation and this is one of those plays it's a very unique little route you still have a high low too so they have to hard flat with that flat that you have on the field um, if you wanted to give yourself a little bit better um, of a read against man-to-man -man coverage specifically what you could do is you could take the r1 receiver and you could streak him up the seam you can take the running back put him on an option route and then you can take the square receiver and basically motion him over on a drag route and that motion over drag will actually do a pretty good job at beating man-to-man -man coverage it still gives you a an underneath read against zone um, if you needed something to kind of get underneath those flat zones and honestly like let's say that they're playing uh, let's say that they're playing man to or Mabel coverage on this, and I want you to watch. Um, whoops! Uh, I want you to watch the flat zones. So I've got two flat zones out there now with the Mabel coverage. So if I motion over square, right, you're gonna see that he's gonna actually go into an interesting spot of the field. The zone drops aren't real. I mean, right there they did because of that yellow zone, but if that yellow zone's not there, it was just a traditional Mabel coverage, you're gonna be able to have so much success. So let me show you this real quick. There's Mabel coverage here on the outside. And if you just watch this drag route, because that tight end is gonna pull him naturally out of the way, you're gonna have a lot of room to be able just to kind of pass lead that right in that little pocket get up field for a couple yards so that's smash return one of my favorite passing plays in madden 21 now real quick if you have not gotten the ebook yet it is available for you in the description of this video it's just 15 bucks for five hours of video breakdown on one of the best offenses really in madden history i've been running this since madden 12 so i've got a lot of experience with the gun bunch and have been effective for many many years with this offense thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you uh on stream tonight at 10 p.m eastern if you have any questions be sure to text me my number is 208 218-6900 and if you want to get the full gun bunch offensive guide out of the jets playbook it's available for you in the description